Alright guys, so today's video is about the W17 Pro Smartwatch software update problem. So if you are having issue with your W17 Pro Smartwatch, maybe you are trying to upgrade the firmware and you run into the problem of having this black screen. As you can see, it is not switched on. The face is just black. So I'm going to show you how you can fix this black screen of death right now this happens to w17 pro smartwatch and some microwave smartwatch follow the procedure carefully and if you have any question drop it down there without wasting much of your time let's get down to business all right the first thing here to do is to find out if your smartwatch is still alive as in if your smartwatch can still be discovered by your bluetooth of your smartphone so let's go to our smartphone i'm going to open it up as you can see i have my bluetooth my data and my location turned on already so do so and now let's go to our bluetooth settings and let's search for this watch if it's still here probably you are not going to see watch 7 you are going to see hxz underscore boot as you can see here hxz boot so that is the name of the watch for now because it is actually rebooting and it's got stocked so once you find that that means your watch is still alive and we can do this procedure and it's going to get back to normal but if you can't find your watch on your available device list then you need to charge it up please charge it up for at least 30 minutes and when you feel that it is warm or it is kind of warm by the touch screen that means it is charging and you can now use your bluetooth to check it once again if you can locate it with this name of hxz boot then it will work but if not then you need to go and fix it that means it has an issue um, internally or you need to fix it by your technician okay so that is that now the second thing to do here is to download an app from google play store we are going to download an app from google play store so let me go to my google play store gr2 box here is it on top so let's select it and this is it from godix once you see it just install it and let it download to your smartphone once it is downloaded then you can do the next step now we have our gr2 box installed on our smartphone let's launch it so select open and you just swipe left and you get to this option here you see the disagree and agree please make sure you agree to the user agreement and privacy policy you select agree and gr2 box you like to access your device location please select while using app and you can see our hxz underscore boot is up on the list okay so what i would say you should do next is to minimize this all right as you can see we have it there minimize it and let's go to a website which is the official website of the w17 pro smartwatch and we are going to download a file for the software so that it will correct the error all right so the link is in the description box you can just check down there you are going to see the link there i'm going to show you the site right now now we are at the website as you can see shining international so you scroll down and you download the w17 pro firmware 2 okay select this download option here and you are going to see downloading file at the top of your phone okay let's open it so i'm going to open this once as you can see we have two files here we have the gr2 box which is the one we have downloaded already and we have the bin file here as you can see so the next thing to do here is to extract these files all right so you select extract when you extract select extract again so it's going to extract out the file like this as you can see now we can now go to the next step the next step is to minimize this and go to your gr2 box once again and connect this hxz boot so you select connect and it has been connected to the hub the next thing to do here is to come down to this godix ota service select the drop down menu here and scroll all the way down to the godex 
OTA control characters. Select the W icon by the side. And now you are going to see a dialog box up here, which is the right data dialog. You are going to input these figures into the box. Please toggle on your cap locks, okay? Now you input 4, 4, 4, F, 4, F, 4, 7. Okay? You input 4, 4, 4, F, 4, F, 4, 7. And once you are done with that, you select the send option by the side. Okay? When you select the set option by the side, you can now close it back. Then go down here and select application. And select application is going to bring out this DFU. Okay. So you select DFU. And you are going to see these columns here, this page. At the DFU page, you are going to see update. All right. So first of all, select restart after completion. Just tick that box. Okay. Now you select this option like this, select the option select and it's going to take you to your download, recent download page. Okay, you can see the W17 Pro firmware tool. So you can select that. When you select that, it's going to go into that column that we select it for. Okay, you can see it here. Then you select connect here. All right, now let's toggle this on. As you can see, you can see device ready, blah, 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 and all the rest. Now let's select get. And when you see this get option, that means your watch is within reach and it's going to reboot your watch and it's going to work. Okay. Now do this following step. The first one is to select the GR watch and confirm the firmware. So it's going to switch and switch on the smartwatch. As you can see, our watch is up and running, but we have device connected pop up. So you have to select reconnect. And once you reconnect it, it's going to show you Bluetooth pairing request down the page. As you can see, it shows our pairing request down there. So let's just check the smartwatch and see it is truly working. Before we have the black screen, but now let's just check it out and let's change the wallpapers and watch faces. All right okay good now let's confirm the bluetooth pairing request here select pair okay select pair once again and this is just done with the gr2 box now let's go to the bluetooth of our smartphone and connect it with our watch 7 and it's going to connect to our smartwatch right on the watch you can see the green link so that is how to work on your w17 pro smartwatch software update problem so if you have any question please drop it down there in the comment section and i'll reply you as soon as possible and if you are new here please subscribe to the channel and you will get more of this